Hello, Libra. It's me, G1 Writer, here with G1 Insights. Libra, I have some fantastic news for you. This is literally going to be like one of your best seasons, okay? And it seemed like your energy was quite the same last month um, in October. But for some reason, you between you and Leo, like the energy was not allowing me to just, ugh, just do it. Okay, so welcome those of you that are new to my page. I'm really excited to have you here with me. Please like and share and subscribe because we are literally expanding the season. Okay, so share it around the world, guys. Okay, so Libra, let's get into this. It looks like, you know, first let's talk about the planets first of all because I think that, you know, back in September, I talked about the energy for the next three months, which means October, November, December, okay? Everything that you have been doing from this point on is literally going to be like such an eye-opener for you coming into next year, okay? So that next season, okay? So here in the States, first of all, happy Thanksgiving, right? So, because, oh my God, I cannot wait to eat. I love some good food. I just cannot wait. The thing is, about that same exact week, we're going to have this full moon in Gemini, which is your sister sign, okay? At that same time, we're going to be still dealing with um, Mercury retrograde, okay? So, Mercury goes retrograde November 16th, okay? I'm starting from back and going forward, guys, okay? So, just bear with me, okay? So... The 30, towards the end of November, we're going to have that full moon in Gemini approaching us. So that's just going to be crazy. Um, but for you, I feel like this is just being more open, being more expressive, being more, finding out what really, really makes you happy, you know. Um, the good thing is, as I said before, I mean, even with Mercury going retrograde around the 16th, you guys are still going to be, um, you know, communicating some different ideas. There might be some type of contracts coming in. I see for a lot of you, you guys may be moving. So for some of you, you may be thinking about re relocating or moving somewhere. Um, or this may be someone moving in with you or you moving in with someone. This could be um, just maybe just making some changes within the home, maybe rearranging some things, maybe redecorating. I just feel like you guys are just making some changes. And it, it, for a lot of you, it could be really big changes. For some of you, it could just be really minor changes, right? Something that just helps you um, feel more settled, something that helps you feel more content. Okay, now going further into the beginning of the month of November, we are going to have that new moon in Scorpio. The new moon in Scorpio is going to be very, very sexy for you, though, Libra, because this is like opening that dark side and being excited and doing things you've never done before. This is you being more sexual, being more open minded, you know. So even in love, it's like you guys are being more um, just into just different things that you guys have never done before. So don't be surprised if your spouse suggests something to you that just sounds so absurd and you're like, yeah, I'm not doing that. You know, do it. Have fun. Be adventurous. You know, you want to loosen up, especially right before that Mercury retrograde, okay? Trust me. Now, the thing that I also wanted to talk about, which is why I went back to forward, is because the end of October, Venus will finally, October 31st, your ruling planet, Venus, okay? Remember, in October, it went to retrograde, okay? So, it is finally going direct in your sign, the reason why that is so important is because this, you know, really opens the doors for new opportunities. We are talking about finances, health, love, you know, um, well, I mentioned money already, right? So, yeah, money, I can say it again, money. <laughs> so, it's going to be really good for you when it comes to, you know, networking and meeting new people, um, getting out there, dancing more. Um, having really a good time. So Mercury going retrograde was not really going to be that big of a deal to you. It's not like you're going to be all depressed and sad and not have anything. Only thing that I would recommend for you, Libra, being the fact that Venus is going to finally go direct in your sign. This is all about peace. Having a peace of mind. If you want to maintain that peace of mind for the month of November, 
plan accordingly. That is the best advice that I can probably give you, okay? It's to plan accordingly. That means double check your flight, double check your trips or whatever it is that you are planning to do, okay? Do not sign anything, okay? Once Mercury will go retrograde around the 16th of November, please make sure that you got, I mean, if you're going to sign something, just make sure that it's not like life or death, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, well, make sure that it is. Like, if it's not anything that's of extreme urgence, it can wait, is what I mean to say, okay? Like, it can wait. If it's not going to be something that's extremely important, it can wait. Please wait until after Mercury goes direct um, the first week of December. Please wait, okay? Because by then, you will have a lot more clarity. But I will tell you, overall, throughout the month of November, I see beautiful things here, okay? You guys have prosperity, okay, which is all about your finances. It's all about abundance of your prosperity, all about just networking, meeting new people, getting, you know, uh, basically having new contacts, building your foundation, building your resources, um, executing that goal or that plan that you guys have in mind. So really, this is all about action for you this season. It's all about taking action. You know, you have spent the last nine months just planning, processing, planning and processing and thinking and worrying and, you know, going back and forth trying to figure out a really good concrete plan. And this month, the answers literally come to you, okay? So, for those of you, this can be about a business that you are running at home, like if you're running a daycare, if you work with children, or if you have like some type of business that you um, enjoy doing from home, this is going to be a really good season for you to network and to make really, really good money, okay? I want you guys to think about being more honest with your audience, being more honest, communicating better, you know, um... And I feel like communication is going to be especially important, especially with retro Mercury going retrograde on the 16th and the full moon in Gemini happening. Mercury is Gemini ruins planet. So this is really communicating exactly what you feel, um, double checking, making sure that your technology is intact. Making sure that things are up and running for you. Making sure that, you know, you're going to plan to do any type of public speaking or any type of public performance. Anything done with um, creativity, make sure that you just plan accordingly. This is why I'm stressing that so much, okay? Thank you. So whatever idea that you guys have had recently about this new business venture or about this new love or about this new home or this new environment, whatever it was, just know that Archangel Uriel has your back, dear love. You know, we do believe that this is a brilliant idea. We do believe that it will work out for you, but you must plan accordingly, okay? Yes, your idea is divinely guided, so please take action, my love. Take action. And basically, as you begin to take action, this will allow everything that you have been planning and manifesting, everything's going to begin to come into fruition for you because you are taking your time. You're making sure that the flights are booked properly. You're making sure that your clothes are done properly. You're making sure that, you know, your, um, what do you call it, your receptionist or <laughs> your secretary, you want to make sure that they are doing everything that they said that they were going to do, okay? Now, when it comes to this whole moving situation or anything dealing with making a decision, okay, you already know what to do, so don't panic. You already have the answers because, like I said, for the past nine months, you have been building your resources, so you already know the answer, that you're seeking. You already have the answers, right? So the universe just want you to just trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action. There is that word again, take action, my love, okay? The universe is strongly encouraging you to just go for it this season. No more worrying, no more plotting and scheming and ducking everything, you know? This is literally about just going for it, having faith. Look at that word, moving, okay? Something is moving, and it's moving swiftly, okay? So when we think about the moon, or if you guys even have moon, like your moon sign in Gemini, this is definitely a time where you're going to be a lot more intellectual than usual, okay? A lot more in tune with your feelings and your emotions, 
And that's really not like Gemini. Like, they're usually very logical, very intuitive. And, yes, they can be very charming and very sexy. However, when it comes to communication, they are very great when it comes to communication. So, this is really increasing your communication. This is increasing your finances, increasing your networking ability. This is increasing your home life. This is increasing everything so even if you do feel at some point after mercury go retrograde that somebody may not be totally understanding you or if you have been having some type of communication issues at home you may just want to repeat yourself again you know like so if you say hey don't forget to take the trash out you know just like example if you say like well don't forget to take the trash out you know they may not have heard you and I'm just giving you guys like a, a really bland example, right? But just tell them again, you know, not to nag or not to get on them nerves, but just say, hey, honey, please don't forget to take the trash out, you know, because then sometimes we get so busy and you may have thought that they hurt you. And then just that quick, something blows up. But, like I said, what I like about this energy is that this season is going to be tricky because it's going to be like, yay! But what the hell is this? You know, and then it's going to be like, oh, my God, exciting news. You know, is I can't really describe it. I always like to describe moments like this as a roller coaster because that's exactly what it's going to feel like. I'm high, but then, oh, my God. <laughs> no matter what happens, Libra, just know that it's good to remain humble. It's good to be happy, and it's good to just take each and every Thing step by step no matter what the situation is no matter what the circumstances are just take your time plan accordingly okay but take action but plan accordingly just make sense do everything the right way now what i love about your whole reading is that you did get the victory card so that makes me happy that lets me know that no matter what happens success is here to stay and i feel like this is definitely going to be your energy Literally until about maybe March or April or maybe even May. I think you guys are really, everything that you guys have been working towards this year is literally coming into fruition. Like you're going to be receiving a lot of different emails, a lot of different phone calls. So make sure your phone is charged up. Make sure that you have an extra battery or, you know, you don't want to miss that important meeting. So if you feel like, oh, my appointment is at 10 o'clock, I always leave at 930. No, trust me, during Mercury Retrograde, you want to leave at like, nine o'clock on the dot do not leave at 9 30 if you have something to do at 10 a.m trust me trust you and me during mercury retrograde you want to leave at least an hour or maybe hour and a half ahead of time because mercury retrograde gets everything screwed up trust me you will think that the bus come at 905 when it really comes at 805 and you end up missing your bus just by simple miscommunication or maybe technology was wrong maybe it was something that you read on on the website and it, it just was all confusing this season depending on what you guys have in your birth chart can determine a lot obviously right but i will pay attention to communication and making sure that i'm planning accordingly that is very huge for you this season for those of you that have children on the brain or thinking about having children or maybe you have children and you're thinking about them all the time invite them out you know take them somewhere nice um you may want to find that you are um that you want to be closer to these children or what if you don't have any children or what if your kids are grown and far away in college somewhere right you still want to try to make some type of contact if you have little ones in your life that really mean a lot to you okay you have a special way with children libra they just love you they love the, they just love you they love your energy you're sweet you're sensitive you're like a pillow to them right so in your you give a lot of comfort and a lot of nurture and children look for that okay and so because of that be sure that you are expressing your love to these children, whether they are your students, whether they are your children, whether they are far away and grown as hell in college somewhere or just often married. Still reassure them that they mean everything to you, okay? Make sure that that is a big message that you get across the season. Now, when it comes to love, you know, I think you guys just need to just take it easy, you know? Like I said before, just try your best to communicate, have fun, you know, be honest with each other. You know, I do see keeping open minds here. So for a lot of you, this is somebody new. 
For a lot of you, this is someone new, okay? And for a lot of you, you are kind of skeptical. You may not have been really sure lately. And I feel like with all the good news that's going around, who has time to focus on negativity? Like, nobody has time for that, right? So we want to be in love. We want to be happy. And with Venus going direct in your sign, yay! With Venus going direct in your sign on November 16th, Trust me, even during Mercury retrograde, even Mercury retrograde cannot fuck up your love life, okay? So, just be honest. Be real. Let them know how you're really feeling, okay? The archangels, your romance angels want you to know that your soulmate may differ from your usual type of expectations. So, be open-minded. Sometimes, you know, love just sometimes come in, like, the craziest times, and... It has its ways of just surprising us. Sometimes love knocks when we least expect it. But I think for you, Libra, I think you can use this. I think you can use a little bit of um in it, right? Like you can use just a little bit of it. So you thrive off of having great love in your life. So this is really good energy for you. Also here is express your love. So like I said, this we're talking about communication again. So as I said before, guys, express your love for this person. Let them know I am feeling you. You are sexy. You know, I want you. I, I just gotta be near you. Whatever it is, you have to verbalize that this season. Because like I said, with Mercury going retrograde and with the full moon in Gemini coming up. Trust me, about the third week going into um in November, about the third week of November, going into the ending, like right before that full moon, take some time to really think about what you no longer want to associate yourself with, okay? Even in love, just take some time to think about that. What do I really deserve? What do I really want? What do I want to seriously begin to work on? And as the full moon approaches in Gemini, then you can take some time and be logical about it. You can say, okay, I like this, but I don't like that. I want this, but I don't want that. Be very, very particular, my love, about what it is that you really desire. Because I promise you, you will not go wrong with anything this season if you just plan accordingly and communicate properly, okay? Don't think, well, I told you I loved you last night. And and then a the phone dropped, right? For example, the phone dropped. They're mad because they said I love you. And to them, they didn't hear and I love you back. So even if it's just to dial somebody else's phone or to send that person a little text message or a little emoji, I'm thinking of you. Sorry about last night. I don't know if you got my message or not, but I do love you, baby. You know, we got to, it's about being more thoughtful. You know, when we have full moon in Gemini, we have to be thoughtful because Geminis are always thinking, always analyzing. <laughs> and the fact that Mercury is going retrograde and Venus is finally going direct, and then we have this new moon in Scorpio, feelings are going to be everywhere. And thankfully, hopefully, you guys won't be so vulnerable or emotional, but you can think clearly this time because Venus is going direct. So you will have a more clear mind on what you really want in this relationship. Even if you are just dating, you can now start to decide what you want to tolerate and what you don't want to deal with, right? And that's good. That's really good. So, yeah, about the second or third week of October, I mean, of November, expect some big changes when it comes to love, okay? And this could be, like I said, guys, I don't know if somebody is moving in with this person or if, or if you guys are thinking about relocating, moving somewhere, or somebody's moving in with you. Shit, you might just be kicking somebody the hell out. I don't know. But somebody's moving. Some It's something there's <laughs> some type of change happening with you guys, okay? But definitely go ahead and make that romantic gesture to recapture romance in your world. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Don't forget to just... Just breathe. <laughs> and that's all I got to say. Just breathe, honey. Relax. All is not lost, okay? So I love you, Libra. I know that this was like pretty uh all over the place because it was like direct but oh yeah guys one more thing i'm glad i said that huh thank you so gemini energy is also about feeling scattered okay so even though around that third or fourth week of november you'll be feeling a lot better 
when that full moon in Gemini happened, we may feel a bit scattered. Not just you, but all of us. We may feel just a bit scattered. So again, this is really just maybe asking for help if you need it or if you feel a little stranded, if you feel stuck or insecure about a particular situation. Again, just communicate your feelings, okay? And try not to focus on on why you feel so scattered just know it's a reason for everything it's a reason for all this madness right just focus if you plan ahead you won't have to worry about being scattered right so that was the last thing i just wanted to say to you bye see you next month